Hey there, so let you know, uh, I actually talk for a little bit before the short, so if you want to skip to it, uh, go to this number here. Didn't give this warning, didn't realize I would talk for so long beforehand. Uh, but yeah, number right there, and uh, though I still, you know, I hope you like to hear what I have to say. It's not important, just something I wanted to talk about. Uh, but still, yeah, enjoy. Hey there, every pony. This is Potter Brown, and welcome to another buying reaction of My Little Pony Friendship is Magic, uh, official short teacher of the month. Now, before I get into it, a couple things I wanted to talk about. Just uh, what I think is just a cute little story of mine, and what is a uh, what I think of what's going to be happening here. First, what's going to be happening here. I think that this episode, based on the uh, based on the screenshot, the thumbnail, of the video up on Hasbro's website, the link in the description below. Be sure to put them over there. Uh, kind of a continuation of the whole Teacher of the Month debacle that they had, where Fluttershy was winning every month in that one bad episode from last season. My least favorite episode of last season. Uh, other than that, I'm not really sure what's going to be going on. Probably some Rainbow Dash and Applejack shenanigans. That said, I uh, wanted to talk about something, just a little bit of backstory of mine. Something that happened today, this morning I was over at my parents' house. Now my parents are getting ready to put their house up on the market in a couple of months. Uh, me, my younger sister, and now my youngest sister have all moved out. My youngest sister has moved out last month and got an apartment with her boyfriend. And uh, now that all of us are out of the house... My grandmother who lived there is no longer with us. My parents are nearing retirement and they've bought a smaller house for just the two of them. Getting rid of the big old house that they don't need anymore. And, you know, with my mom's leg issue, easier to just not have stairs, you know, whatever. Uh, that being the case though, while I was there I was helping my dad take some stuff down from the attic and while I was up there, he said, you know, we could take this down to, uh, in my sister's old room, which was my old room. After I moved out, my youngest sister moved in there, but I left my old, uh, floor unit air conditioner because my room got the hottest, fastest, and my parents refused to turn on the AC, even though my room up there turned into an oven. It was basically attic level. So I left it for my younger sister for a few years. But now that she's not there, I'm like, yeah, why don't you just take this down, take it with you in case you need it at your house. In case my central air goes out or something, I might need to use it until I get it fixed. Uh, yeah, that sounds good enough. Might be good to have up in, the in my bedroom. But while I was up in her bedroom, in her old bedroom, she still has a couple of things up there. A couple boxes, there was a stack of books there. Now, to go into something real quick, I tell that story in order to tell this one, uh... Back in 2000, uh, late 2000s, fall of, two th of the year 2000, uh, I was a freshman in college, just starting there. I was hearing news of a new movie coming out, was Harry Potter and the, and the Sorcerer's Stone. The new movie, then new, coming out the next year, 2001. And in the news, they were talking about, like on the radio I was listening to, on my way to campus. Uh, they were talking about how well the fourth book did previously, a few months back when it was released, and people are really hyped for this, and it's a really good series for kids and adults alike. I'm like, you know, I think my little sister has a copy of that book, the first book. So I go over and see. I asked with her, and she said, my little sister, who was eight at the time, said, yeah, she has a copy. She only read about a quarter of it. She could, can't get into reading. She might get back to it sometime. Truth be told, I don't think she ever has. Uh, she's seen the movies now. She's like, I don't think she read the books again. Uh, and yeah, she had a copy of the first book. So I read it that night, all through the night. Stayed up all night. Never, never mind school in the morning. Never mind classes in the morning. Nope. Read the book. Couldn't put it down. Couldn't fall asleep. Had to finish it. Next day, dead tired. On the way to school, went to the store. Bought the second copy of the book because I knew she only had the first one. 
and so on and so forth until I fin until I finished all four books within a week and a half, I think. Uh, and yeah, then the wait until the fifth, sixth, and seventh books. But as I was leaving her room, now I've got several copies of the first book. I've got the copy here is a hardcover copy, which came out of this box here. This is a, spe this is a special hardcover series special pack of it. I've got a paperback copy that I bought in in London at uh, at the train station that they actually have a Harry Potter store right near uh, right near the tracks at King's Cross when I was in London. This is the this is the copy of the book with the new uh, cover. It's not the old cover. I also have the hardcover copy of this, which I also bought in London. The signed, so to speak, it's just embroidered her signature there. Uh, so yeah, I have these, and that's great and all. I have it for my collection. But then I look down in the book pile that my sister has in her room, still has it removed. I don't know what she's going to do with them. I saw this. This is the first copy of the book that I ever read. And I don't know. I just thought I wanted to share that with you. Uh, it's just a story of it. This, it. this is the copy that got me into the freaking series. I went and bought my own copy after reading this one. But this is my sister's old copy that I borrowed. And she didn't want it anymore. So I, why not? Uh, yeah, it's still in remarkable shape. A little dog-eared. But other than that, it's still in pretty damn good shape. Not worth anything, it's not like a first edition, it's just an old paperback that she had, and, I don't know, it's special to me now, though, so, this is something that got me into a series that, I'd say means more to me than the series I'm about to watch now. Uh, anyway, moving on, just a, that was just a little story I wanted to share. I hope you liked it, but, uh, but yeah, that's that's it. Nothing else to that. Uh, moving on, Friends of His Magic, Teacher of the Month, official short. Now, starting the video in three, two, one, and go. Alrighty. Yes, another win for Fluttershy. Congrats on being teacher of the month. Again. They couldn't change a picture. What is this? Number 15? Oh, um, 16, actually. <laughs> What's your secret? Say some other pony wanted to be teacher of the month. What should she do? Pay the students. Well, um, I'm not exactly sure. <laughs> All right, class. Time to tidy up. Uh. I mean... It's time for a clean-up dance party! Make class fun. Yay! Why not? Yeah. You see, those are the best teachers that make learning enjoyable. <laughs> Today, we're going to learn about responsibility. Oh. By taking care of baby animals! Yay! And skunks, too. Now, aren't the hoofed animals like that giraffe there sent to? Sorry, everyone. Looks like we have to cancel our field trip because of the weather. Damn, Pegasi. Oh, wait. Fluttershy is one. We'll just have to stay here and play games instead. Yay! <laughs> It's the same picture, it still is. You really are a great teacher. So, teach us! How can we get our picture on that wall? At least they're going about it better than they did in the episode. Welcome to the first annual Student Appreciation School Party. Set up and hosted by us! Yay! 
I definitely think they should be teachers of the month, don't you? This will win her the teacher of the month. Oh, because she's so gracious, she should be Thanks teacher for of the your month. Help, Who we would have never thought of this without you? Wait. Oh, uh, and that's. This was Fluttershy's <laughs> idea. <laughs> There it is. Well. <laughs> she can't <laughs> not lose. She can't not win. At least they were more easygoing about it than they were in that one particular episode of which I saw only once or twice in and of itself. One of them being. When I watched it, I don't even think I watched any reactions for the damn thing. Uh, so yeah, that was My Little Pony French Miss Magic, Teacher of the Month official short. Uh, yeah, cute. Involving second best pony. Uh, fourth or fifth best pony and sixth best pony of the main six. Yeah, uh, and I should mention that on the like I had mentioned before my ranking for the uh, for the main six. Number one, Twilight, no contest. Number two, Fluttershy, pretty solidly in there as number two. Number three and four used to alternate between uh, Rainbow Dash and Pinky. Could be either one, but Pinky has now solidly taken number three. She's just I just really like that character and. Rainbow Dash was at 4, Applejack was at 5, and Rarity at 6. If only for the fact that I had, at one point, actually hated the character of Rarity. Uh, that no longer the case. Rarity actually moved up, in my opinion, on the list. And unfortunately, one of the others had to take the hit. So Applejack is now at number 6. Rainbow Dash and Rarity kind of alternate between 4 and 5. Sometimes I think... Rarity pulls ahead, but other than that, not that they did anything wrong to, this is just my opinion, this is my list, disagree all you like, it's not going to change my mind, but, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know, what, but, uh, Rarity seems to be pulling up the list, I don't think she's going to surpass Pinky, Fluttershy, and Twilight, I know not Twilight, but she's definitely, I definitely like her far more than I did back in season one. But I liked her far more than I did in season one, way back in season two. It just she was so solidly locked in the last place. Uh, but yeah, not that Applejack did anything to deserve sixth. That's just unfortunately where she lands because I unfortunately like the other characters more. Personal opinion, Apple Geek, don't whoop my ass for it next time you see me at BronyCon. But still, that's just how it is. So that'll be the end of it uh two for not so nobody takes it out of context apple geek is not a violent person he wouldn't do that uh but yeah so that'll be the end of it i want to thank you all for watching hope you enjoyed that and i'm just gonna end this one here until next time take care bye